Hey guys, uh, I want to talk a little bit about quiz review and feedback. So most question types in Articulate, if you enable the feature to review the quiz answers, I'll just run through a, a quick one here. Uh, obviously we get the immediate feedback when we answer the question if it's correct or not. But what I want to look at is what happens when you review the quiz. So this is an option that you can turn on or off. And most question, most question types, if you enable that, they'll tell you it was incorrect. It shows the answer you gave, and it also shows the answer that's correct. So, so pretty cool. But what doesn't happen for all question types, let me show you an example. In this case, this is just a freeform drag and drop. So this is asking me to identify the, the three cities that have been a, a capital in Ohio. And we'll just quickly sort of make some guesses here. And I can submit that. It also tells me if I've got it correct or incorrect. And the difference is, when I go back to review one of these drag and drop questions, it tells me that I missed it, but it just leaves my uh, drop items where they were so I have no idea what are the correct answers. So I just want to take a, a quick minute here and show you how you can fix that so it actually shows the correct answers. So it's a pretty simple thing to do, just a couple of uh, pretty easy tweaks here. This is my drag and drop question I've got set up. I'm just going to go in and edit this drag and drop question. And what we're going to do is I'm going to use this post quiz review area and I'm just going to put something in here. It can be anything. We're going to we're going to change it. We just want to put something in there which will create a review layer on our slide. So you'll notice here I'm just going to put an X and after I save and close that now I have this new review layer that I can work with. And I want to use this to show what the correct answers are. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to, see so this is just our box with the text that we entered. I'm just going to get that out of the way. I don't want to use that. Move it off the slide. The second thing that I want to do is I want to go in here to these base layer objects. And these are where my drag items are. So my one, my two, my three that I'm dropping over top of the correct answers. And I just want to turn those off. So I'm going to make those invisible, and you'll see these will disappear here. Because without doing that, wherever I left my answers, they're still going to be there. So we don't want to do that. So we're going to sort of do a, a better alternative to provide the correct answers. So what I want to do is I want to replicate those markers, but I want to place them in the correct spot so I can give them that feedback of, of what the correct answers are. So I've got these, I'm just going to paste these in and position them. So get these in the right spot. There's the first capital. Make these arrangements here. First, second, third. So that looks pretty good for uh, showing the example of how this is going to work. So let's see how that works. So we'll preview that. And we'll do our drag and drop here and make my make my guesses. Submit. Okay, we, we still missed it. Now when we go back and review this this time, instead of showing me where I left them in the wrong spots, now it's going to display my review feedback layer and it's going to give me the correct answers. So that is a super simple way to provide correct answers when reviewing a drag and drop quiz question.